Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex and this is Budgets by Alex and today we are cashed up the $875 and this is going to cover June 17th through June 26th and this for me is going to be the last cash stuffing for the month of June because I get paid again on the 27th and I budget from the 27th to the 27th. Um, I did not have any rollover money in entertainment and groceries so we're just going to start fresh in these gas, kitties, and miscellaneous. They still have a little bit of money in them but I will roll these over at the end of the month so when I stuff for the beginning of July I'll see what I have left in here and I'll roll them over accordingly wherever I want to put them. So we'll just leave those there. So entertainment is going to be getting 55 this week or for like these next 10, nine days. Usually the last cash stuffing of the month covers a little bit more of days. So I have to stretch my money out a little bit farther just because I only stuff four times a month. Um, it's just easier to break things into fours instead of like um, cutting it smaller. So I just have to make sure that I can stretch this money to last a little bit longer than like the normal seven days. So entertainment um, got 55 and then groceries is gonna get 80 because I have to cover. So we shop over the weekend. So for this like uh, week of cash stuffing or like I, it's covering two weekends. So we grocery shop on either Sunday morning early or Saturday night before it gets crazy. So the way that it works out, this, kit, this cash stuffing is covering two weekends, which is why I'm gonna do 80. And then I also have um, some cans to return. So that'll cover the rest of it. And then up next are my bills. So life insurance is only going to be getting two this week. One, two. It now has one, two, three, four, five, and six. CenturyLink is going to be getting 20. And it only has 20. My water is going to be getting 35. 20, 35. These next batch of bills are empty because they just came out. Mortgage is going to be getting 310 and one, two, three, and 10. My Peloton is going to be getting four. One, two, three, four. I will link in the top right hand corner my San Diego vlog. Um, we had a great time there. The weather was kind of like meh. It was actually nicer up in Portland by like 20 degrees than in San Diego, but we still had a lot of fun down there. Um, and I'm actually going on another trip. This was very spontaneous, not planned. Um, we are going to go visit Shane's dad or my husband's dad in Texas for the 4th of July for literally like three days. I had a companion pass for my Alaska credit card that I haven't used yet and it was going to expire on July 19th. So we used that um, to be able to go down to see them for 4th of July. We literally leave like the night of June 30th and then come back the morning of 4th of July because my husband can't take a lot of time off of work. It's kind of like a blackout time for him during the summer. Um, so anyway, we're gonna do that and that should be our last freaking trip that we have coming up. I feel like I said that like every trip that I've had, this is my last one and then things just come up. So anyway, for now, this is the last trip that I have coming up. So. Um, but I am going to link my San Diego vlog, like I said, in the top right hand corner. And then I'll have a Texas one when it comes to 4th of July. So I'm just like so tired. I feel like I've been go, go, go for like the last like month. And so after San Diego, I'm just, or not San Diego, but after Texas, I'm going to just be really glad just to like sleep. I'm just so tired just from like doing so much stuff. But I mean, we have, we're having fun, but I'm getting tired. Um, my student loan is going to be getting 152, one. 52. I mean, it is nice. Like for San Diego, we don't have to pay for a place to stay. My uncle bought our flight down there. And then for Texas, we had my companion pass. So that the flight wasn't too terrible. And then we have a place to stay. And we're not really, we're just going to be hanging out on his dad's ranch. So we're not really going to be spending a lot of money. So it is nice for like those two trips, at least. Like they're not going to be costing us a lot of money. So anyway, um, Verizon's going to be getting 19. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And Spotify is going to be getting two. Three, one, and two. So Spotify now has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And that's the full amount um, that comes out on the 22nd, I believe. And then we are coloring this little mini savings challenge. We're gonna do Little baby number two, and I think we'll go with green for that one. So one and two. So 
So in this little mini saving challenge, we now have 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. And like I said, I think I'm going to get myself a different standing desk. I think the desk I want is like 180 or something or 200. And this is like 250, 240, or 260, the total of this when you finish it. So I'll have a little bit extra that I might just roll over to my emergency fund or I might get something from Lululemon. We'll see what I decide. Um, but that's it for this binder. Up next are my sinking funds. Okay, anniversary is not getting anything. My uh, credit cards, that's going to be getting three. And for some reason, my annual fee has not come out yet for my Alaska card. Last year, I went and checked and it came out in April, but it hasn't come out yet. So I'm waiting for it to come out at any day now. And then when it does, I'll transfer money out of here into my checking account to like pay uh, my annual fee bill that that's due. I think it's like 70 bucks or something. So anyway, but in annual fee, I now have... 100, 120, 121, 22, 23, 24, 25, 126 in annual fees. My car insurance is getting 36, 20, 30, 5, and 6. Okay, so car insurance now has 1, 2, 3, 4, 450, 470, 480, 490, 495, 96, 97, 498 for car insurance. Car maintenance is going to be getting 15, 10, and 5. And I just got in the mail like my DMV renewal thing for my tags because they expire at the end of July. So I'll wait until July sometime to go get my new tags, but I will take out of my car maintenance to pay for that. I think it's like 200 or something, and ours are good for two years. So um, I have. I do have that here. So car maintenance now has one, two, three, four, five, 550, 560, 565, 574 car maintenance. Christmas is going to be getting 25, 25. In Christmas, we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight fifty, eight seventy, eight ninety. 900 so next month at the end of next month or the end of july i'll be able to put a one thousand dollar placeholder in here so that is very exciting i think last time i cashed up i said i went way over budget for christmas this last year which is why i'm trying to put more in christmas than i normally do so that way i don't go over budget and that way i don't have to take from my checking account cushion to pay for christmas um, my emergency fund is going to be getting 25 so now in my emergency fund, we now have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and I keep 1,000 in my um, credit union account, and then the rest I keep in my ally sinking fund. I just like to have $1,000 like access to like quickly because obviously um, in the high yield savings account for ally, it takes like a day or two to transfer the money over back to like my normal credit union account. So I always just keep $1,000 um, in my credit union savings account, and then the rest I keep in my ally account. Um, so when I'm transferring money at the end of this video, that's why you'll only see 2000 and whatever this is in the ally account and the extra thousand is in my checking account or my savings account where my credit union is. So anyway, um, so this has one, two, three thousand, one hundred, one twenty, one thirty, one thirty five. So three thousand one hundred thirty five in my emergency fund. And then let's see. My kitty emergency, they're going to be getting 20. They now have 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 720, 740, 760, 765, 66, 67. So 1,767 in their emergency fund. And this is future vet appointment money that I will take from this envelope um, next week or next time I stuff. I only unstuff that at the very end of the month or like the start of a new month. So whatever's left over in their little variable envelope, I will put into their future vet appointment envelope or stash that I have. And then the last envelope that is getting stuffed is beauty because I have my curly girl hair appointment next week. No, I have it the last week of June. So not next week, but the following week. I think it's like the 25th or 26th that I have that appointment. So in beauty, I now have 100, 200, 250, 270, 280 for beauty. 
All right, thank you for sticking around. And if you would like to stick around for just a few more minutes, you can see me transfer money over from my checking account into the ally sinking funds that I did step. As always, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on my budgeting channel and over on my vlog channel. Thanks, bye.